Once you have decided to transition from Windows to Mac, you need to organize and prepare for the switch. The first thing you should do is to prepare for a learning curve associated with the switching operating systems. Things work a bit differently on the Mac. Even the cross button is on the other side of the window, but in general, macOS is much more user-friendly than Windows. In this video, I will be telling you everything you need to know to make the switch from Windows to Mac easy. I want to start with answering a few common questions, give you a short look on the system and tell you what to prepare for the switch. So let's start with the first one. Why do people actually switch from Windows to Mac? Business owners and individuals switch from Windows to Mac for all sorts of reasons. Some people choose Macs because they are better suited for creative work, while others feel a luxury image of potential clients. Many people prefer Macs because they are easy to update and maintain. Another huge factor is that everything from the chassis to the user interface is beautifully designed on Macs. There are as many PCs focus on the utility and economy over aesthetics. Many people are asking about Microsoft Office. Can you actually transition Microsoft Office Suite from a PC to a Mac? Yes, of course, one of the best advances in technology is the ability to use the same programs on different types of devices. The entire Microsoft Office Suite is available on Mac. You can download Microsoft Office from App Store directly, so there is nothing stopping you from using that on the Mac. Can I use the same programs and apps when I switch from Windows to a Mac computer? The mainstream software is usually compatible with both PC and Mac machines. But there are some niche industry and legacy software programs that runs only on Windows. If you use any software that is highly specific, check its compatibility before switching to Mac. But usually there is a possibility of using some Windows emulating programs to open it here as well. If you use any business apps, you should also make sure that those are available on Macs. The best way to do that is by checking on App Store. If your app is not available there, make a research for some replacement application. Lots of business apps are available on Macs as well. Another question is very obvious. How can I transfer my data from an old PC to a new Mac computer? Well, it can't be easier than putting your important files or external storage or using some online cloud storages. Good thing is that you can also use the web version of iCloud on the Windows computer and put some data there, which will make it very easy to get them on the Mac after. My pro tip is to minimize the transferred files. The computer fills up so quickly with a lot of stuff and you are hesitating to delete already not used files and apps. I call them just in cases. I recommend you to start nice and clean using your Mac. Did you already notice that there are some different keys on the keyboard? So what is the command key for? So if you have used the Mac keyboard before, you've probably noticed some differences in the keys and the trackpad gestures as well. Keys like Command, Option, Control and Shift are called modifier keys. And with combining them, you can perform a variety of quick commands to speed up your work. Visit my website and download Mac keyboard shortcut cheat sheet for free. I will leave you a link in the description of this video. Next question is connected to it. Can you actually perform a right click on the mouse like you are used to on Windows? Mac desktops and laptops don't really have a right and left button on the mouse or a trackpad. But you still have the right click function available. You can just tap the trackpad with two fingers instead of one to produce a right click effect. On a Mac it's called a secondary click, but it works exactly the same as right click on Windows. So go ahead and try it. Now it's time to discover terms like Finder, the menu bar, Spotlight and get to know the Mac basic applications. All in all, switching from a PC to a Mac isn't difficult. It just takes a little time, little know-how and patience and takes your productivity to a different level far ahead of your old Windows computer.